What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So it's late December, okay? And it's still very nice here in Florida. Actually, it's a cool day here today. Uh, right now, it's roughly about, I don't know, I'd say about 65 degrees. And uh, this is when it's worth it to live here because we suffered through a long, hot summer. Uh, but now that the rest of the country is getting cold, we're really nice here in Florida. So for the next few months, we'll have nice weather. Problem that we have here, however, uh, in, in uh, Southwest Florida and a lot of areas in the South, is that we have fire ants. Uh, fire ants are a serious problem here. It's a constant maintenance issue. You're always trying to find some way either to keep them away or to get rid of them when they take over the area areas around your house. As you could see back here, okay, this is the southern side of the house. And in the grass in this area, even at this time of the year, the fire ants uh, become a problem. Now, I've put down some things to treat the fire ants in the past, and I haven't had them for a few months, but I was a little lazy, and I didn't put the chemicals down. So we got a colony of fire ants back there, and uh, we're going to try to get rid of them. It's not an easy thing to do, but um, you got to do it. And uh, I've found some chemicals that have worked, and uh, I'm going to put them down. So uh, I'm going to show you um, what they look like and how bad they are. They're in this area right here, and uh, this is a difficult area because a lot of times you know people come over to visit you walk past this area of the house you go around the back of the house you know check out the lake check out all this stuff you walk right through the fire ants and uh, it could be it could be horrible if you're not paying attention and you get attacked by fire ants so anyway uh, I'm going to show you what they look like and I'm also going to show you what it takes to get rid of them okay so this is the side of the house here uh, that's facing south uh, you can see the lake. That's the southern sky. And right here, I noticed something. We have a colony of fire ants. And they're actually a pretty big colony. There's a mound there, and there's a mound there. Now, this is just one of those things, guys. You know, if uh, you have some friends over and you're like, hey, come on out, let's look around the property, let's go out in the back and check the view, see what everything looks like. You step in this, accidentally and you're making a big mistake and this is actually something that you could really overlook um, if you're not familiar with this kind of thing you could walk right in this and not even know it here's what happens i don't want to get too close to this but look i got my little painters mixing stick check this out look at them coming out can you see that they are angry and they're on the attack now i don't want to get too close but you could see thousands of them. Now, I just put something down. You can see the mounds are kind of damp on the surface because I just put something down to chase these guys out of here. Actually, it's a poison that's gonna to try to kill the colony and get the queen. But I can't stress enough how lethal these ants are, guys. You make a mistake stepping in that, by this time, these ants would be all over you. Look at them. They're everywhere, and there's thousands of them. Watch this. Now, not that many on this side, but you can see they're coming out. They're angry. They're on the attack. These are fire ants. They're red ants. These things are so lethal. Uh, I can't stress it enough how careful you have to be. Uh, you miss this and you step in this, you're going to be really, really sorry. Now, I just put some stuff down to try to kill the colony. Um, it's not easy to get rid of fire ants. Uh, you can put some stuff down that'll slow them down. It might kill some of them, but unless you get the queen, you can never get rid of the colony. Uh, but I did find some stuff that works. I put it down. We're going to check on that colony in a couple of days, see if it worked. All right, it's been three days since I put down the product. What's the matter there, fella? You upset with me? I'm your neighbor. All right, everybody, it's been three days since I put the product down to try to kill off this colony of fire ants. You can see one mound there, and there's another mound right there. Sometimes it's tough to see. That's why it's easy to step in these things, but let's see. Let's see if that product worked. Now, they're still there. You can see them, but they look like they slowed down a little bit. Not too much, though. We have to wait a couple more days. 
All right, so it's been about a week. Uh, we haven't checked this in a while. Let's see. Well, we still got ants. For some reason, my product didn't work so well this time around. We're gonna have to get something else. They're pretty angry. Not looking too good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, go back to the way we used to do it. The, um, the product that I use that I'm not gonna mention because I'm really not uh, about uh, talking trash about anybody's products, but I know this works. I've used this in the past, this Bengal fire ant killer, this dust. Uh, I've tried a bunch of things in the past just to see what might work. This actually works, so uh, we're gonna sprinkle it on top of the hill like so all right we got another spot over here you see that yeah look let's get them this area here yeah they're in there too let's dust them over and what they do is they ingest this stuff see them in there they're really not very happy but uh they ingest this stuff and they say that this will kill the queen. I've had success with this in the past. You see those uh, those ants, they're all covered up with the dust. They'll take it down deep into the colony, into the hive, whatever you call it. Hopefully it'll kill off the queen and kill these guys off. But uh, this is a nuisance. This is, this is rough. I mean, uh, here we are on the side of the house. This is the southern sky. This is the warmest part of the kind of piece of property we have here. This is where the ants decided to start their colony. See them in there? Don't get too close to these guys. They'll bite you. They got a venom. It's not very, it's not a lot of fun when you get bit up by fire ants. We'll come back in maybe another week or so and uh, see how this worked. Okay, so we're gonna wait a couple more days just to see if that Bengal product worked. Uh, what you're looking at right here, guys, is the northern side of my house, okay? It's cold over here. Uh, and in the winter time, the fire ants don't like it in the cold. They like it on the southern side. Uh, the southern side of my house is that way, but this is the house next to me, and that's the southern side of his house. Uh, he hasn't been paying attention, and I wanna show you the problem that he has. Okay, so like I say, this is the northern side of my house. It's cold over there. Fire ants don't like that. They like the warmth. And look at what we have right here. This is my neighbor's house. Basically the same house uh, built just a couple of months after my house was built. Look at the colony that's taken refuge here. Now this is what happens. Let me, let me show you what it looks like when you disturb the mound. Look at them. They are angry. Just disturb the mound a little bit and they come out and they are on the attack now, this is right up against the building you know uh he's uh, not here right now he's a snowbird he'll probably be here in a couple of days but uh this looks to be a small colony it doesn't seem to be that many of them well you can see them there they're not happy he'll have to deal with this when he gets back Okay, so here we are. It's a couple of days later. Uh, with last time out, we put the Bengal dust on the hills here and here. A little bit of a warm day here today, guys. Uh, it's about 80 degrees here in December, around Christmas time. And uh, we're going to see if how this Bengal dust affected the fire ants. Let's see. Well, guys. This bangle dust is some pretty amazing stuff. Look at that. They're gone. Not a trace of them. All right, well, there's some. Okay, we got them to come out. They're still, they're still there. Surprisingly enough, this hill still has a lot of them. Look at them. But this one, let's see. They're still there. You can see them. They're slowing down a little bit. 
but they're still there. And these things are tough to get rid of. Okay, so it's been yet another maybe six or seven days. And uh, we put the dust down on these hills the last time we checked them. The fire ants were still here, but it appears to me that maybe we got rid of them. Let's take a look. All right, there's still a couple of them. They're not doing very well, but uh, it looks to me like the dust is working. Let's take a look here. Yeah, you can see there's only a couple of stragglers around. They're moving around real slow. And uh, it appears that we finally got them. Now, this stuff here, this Bengal, this is a pretty good product. Uh, you can get this online. You can get it on Amazon. And uh, it really works. But really, the best way to do this is to treat the whole lawn with something that makes the area not a very inviting area to nest. But uh, if you look around in the southern side of just about any house, if the owner isn't paying attention, he's probably going to get a colony of fire ants. They're everywhere. And uh, they're rough, man. They really are difficult. Uh, you walk in this, and you're just asking for trouble. As you can see, that colony is right in the walking path out to the lake. So, looks like we got them. We'll keep an eye on it, but... Uh, I have to be a little bit more vigilant when it comes to treating these guys because yeah, you can see there's still a couple of them not too many probably over the next couple of days they'll be all gone so yeah but guys that's what it takes to get rid of fire ants well there you have it guys uh, that's what it's like to deal with fire ants i was very fortunate this time that i didn't walk in those in those um fire fire ant mounds colonies, whatever you call them. Uh, they show up here in the summertime a lot, right in the back of the house, you know, right along the side of the house. You know, the southern sky, uh, where it casts a lot of heat on the side of the house, is where the fire ants generally will like to start their colonies. But uh, right now, I've treated most of the lawn in the back. I don't expect to get them for a while. That colony looks like it's pretty much gone, and um, we're good to go for a little while. But uh, not an endorsement, but this product works pretty good. If you ever run into a problem with fire ants, you see a colony, you need something right now, you can find this just about anywhere. I've seen it in grocery stores, I've seen it in hardware stores, and uh, you can get it online as well. So anyway, guys, uh, we got some nice weather here in Florida, probably for the next five or six months. Uh, this is when it's worth it to live here. Uh, it's tough in the summertime, I have to say, but this is the time of the year when uh, it's really nice to be here. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.